How much would a $300 car payment affect me for buying a home? My name is Bill Daniels. I'm a direct lender in Tustin, California, and I guide home buyers through the process of qualifying for a home loan. When qualifying someone for a home loan, we look at their credit report and we look at what type of revolving debt payments that they have on a monthly basis, along with the new proposed housing payment. Then we divide that into their monthly gross income before taxes. This is what we call debt to income ratio or DTI. Now I'm not going to go into the details as far as debt to income and how to calculate income and what ratios there are. We're going to use for this illustration 50% debt to income. So what that means is that your full debt obligation cannot be more than 50% of your income. So we're going to take a look at Joe Beyer. Joe Beyer makes $51,000 a year. That averages out to $4,250 a month. He's buying a house for $400,000. He's putting 20% down, which is a $320,000 loan amount. That monthly payment, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance combines to $2,113 based on a 4.5% interest rate. Now we're going to assume that in this case, Joe Buyer has no debt. He has no credit cards, he has no car payment, he has no school loans. So we take $2,113 a month and we divide that into his $4,250 gross monthly income. That comes out to 49.7%, so he's just under the 50% debt to income. So if he buys a car, modest payment of $300 a month, what does that do to his debt to income? Well, now he has $2,113 of mortgage payment, proposed mortgage payment. Then you add the $300, that's $2,413 a month. Then you divide that into $4,250, and it comes out to 56.7%. It's actually a 7% increase in his debt to income, and if 50% was his threshold, and that was what he was able to qualify under, he just went from being approved to not being approved and being declined for that loan. Now, Joe really wants this car. He says, Bill, I don't care if I have to buy less house. What am I going to be able to get instead of $400,380? Well, when we do the calculations, he'd have to actually drop his house payment down to $350,000 purchase price with putting the same $80,000 down payment. So in order for him to keep under the 50% debt to income, he had to drop his purchase price by $50,000. I really hope you like that car, Joe. Now it might not affect everybody the same way. If someone has a higher income and has a $300 car payment, that might not have as big of an impact. It's important for you to know exactly how much you can afford and how much buying power you have with or without a new car. When you're talking about affording a $400,000 home, and a simple car payment costs you $50,000 in buying power, it makes a pretty big difference and a major impact. So if you'd like to know more about your specific situation, if you want to find out where you stand, how much house you can afford with or without your current car payments, or if you're thinking about buying a house and your car is just starting to kick the bucket and you, there's something you're forced to have to go out and do, let's talk about it. Feel free to give me a call or email me to my left, your right, or subscribe to the blog and look for future posts. My name is Bill Daniels. Thank you so much for watching, and you make it a great day.